Now I'm walking alone, but filled with love in my heart through this big city, up to Central Park. And I see her standing at the fountain, playing her violin. Oh, beautifully. I sing along with her. Oh, how beautiful she is. What charms. I've been looking for my muse. And I think I found her. Oh, I'm not going to tell you her real name. But I found a name for her. I'll call her Galatea. Galatea. Galatea, the goddess of milk. <laughs> oh, she's so inspiring, nurturing, wonderful, warm, and no, 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 uh-uh. I know there's a few shrinks here, but this, this, this is not like me trying to find the breast or the replacement for my mother. It, 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 no, 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 no. It, it has nothing to do with Freud, old Sigmund, okay? So I'm going to stop talking about this because you get ideas, you know? <sighs> so I walk up to her close. And I say, Her hands, her knees, 
and her feet. I never got to kiss her lips. Not just because I'm shy, or I was, but also because ultimate fulfillment can only ever be found in fantasy. <laughs> and don't we all fantasize about that absolute fulfillment that can't ever be had in real life? We dream of paradise, of beautiful islands filled with love and peace, such as Yukali. <laughs>